न्यूक्लियर नेशन वेन आई विल ग्रो अप आई विल बी आर्मी एंड सेफ पाकिस्तान एंड डिस्ट्रॉय इंडिया स्ट्रॉन्ग आर्मी अप टाउन स्लग He is slimy and he wears one nug. Likes to wrap up in it nice and snug, and then eat a tiny chocolate fudge. Right, class. We do have a new student joining us today. He is from overseas in the states. Now treat him as equal. Make him feel welcome. Show him how much of a lovely class you are. Mrs. Chabuk has hairy armpits. Right. Would you like to introduce yourself, young man? Yo, what up, UK? Oh my God, I'm Logan. Right, everyone, this is Lennon. Logan. Sorry, Logan. Right, you can sit next to. Hmm. Lee. Oh, for fuck's sake, bro! Renegade, renegade, renegade. What up, bro? Fuck off. Somebody didn't pass the vibe check. Don't say another word. Lit. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth, shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. No one cares, shut up. Mm. <sighs> Liddy! Ah! Go to sleep! What the frick? If you want to have fun with ants but you don't want to actually hurt them, you can also just kind of psychologically torture them. I discovered how to do that as well. <laughs> Take one ant, put him in a Tupperware container full of sugar, seal him in and just start laughing. <laughs> this is his worst nightmare. All the sugar he could ever want. Know where to take it. <laughs> walk him, walk around and around, you know, just losing his tiny mind. After like an hour, you take him out, throw him back on the anthill and laugh some more. <laughs> They're gonna have questions he can't answer. We smell the sugar, Nigel, where is it? <laughs> I do not know, sire, I do not know. <laughs> yeah, those ants were British. All ants are British because they colonize. So, you know, everybody wants to talk about equality, but you know, there's, there's breast enlargement. What about penis enlargement? There is. You know what they do is like every man has like three or four that's inches that's of dick that's like in their body, and they just pull. The so rest what of you're it saying out. is, oh, I have no so if I fucking pull hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard you guys get more excited about something in your Can you tell we all have small penises? We're like just trying to be average out here. Breaths and 30 chest compressions. Okay. Um, uh, we want nice, steady compressions. What? Look at Trap. That CPR that'll save a life. Oh, thanks. I used to be a lifeguard. That is a- What did you do? I don't know! Where am I? You were too good at CPR! You sure? That's the last thing, huh? Self-driving cars are already deciding who to kill. <laughs> They're not. Self-driving cars will remove human error and save thousands of lives, but on the rare, 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 rare occasion that a crash is unavoidable, what they do, they analyse the road, they go, oh, look, there's young babies over there, there's old people, and they hit the old people instead. <laughs> right? That's what they do. And yet I can still feel pensioners going, they're going to kill us, they're not! <laughs> they're not going to be hunting old people. <laughs> You're not going to get Herbie revving his engine outside, <laughs> outside Mecca Bingo. <laughs> stupid woman. She makes everybody else do her dirty work. In these trying times, Pepsi is here for you. <laughs> what the fuck? Move! Help me all. Oh, one second. Yes, sweetie.
To my companion and myself, please visit the playground without your adult supervision. We make this request in good faith, Mother. I don't know. What do you say, Nancy? You think we should? Susan, I think that's a wonderful idea. You Epic. Kids okay, bye, kids. Oh, my God, Susan. I saw the funniest Facebook meme the other day, and get this. It was a minion meme, and it <laughs> says, exercise. I thought you said extra fraud. My lucky, 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 my lucky. Pat, you guys like video games, right? Totally, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're gonna love this. I was going through my grandpa's attic. Turns out he's a huge fan of Wolfenstein 3D. Oh, I love that game. Oh man, <laughs> check it out. No! Oh my god! What is that? It's the bad guy logo from Wolfenstein. You remember? Oh, and listen, Putty, man, I don't know how to tell you this, but... Hey guys, check it out. I'm a bad guy from Wolfenstein. Everyone's gonna love this. Hey everyone! Hey Rosenberg! Look! Oh my god. What? Your grandfather didn't play Wolfenstein. Sure he did. I mean, look at all these achievements he earned. Oh, fuck. Oh, Grandpa, you old nerd. Cosplay much? Come on. Oh, and didn't, didn't you learn about World War II in high school? Nah, I always skipped Mr. Snodgrass's class to go play Wolfenstein. Ho, 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 cha 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 check it out. Wolfenstein 3D Strategy Guide. That's mine, calm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's German for Wolfenstein. Oh, my God. This book is autographed by Adolf Hitler. A name I do not know. Ugh. This is the weirdest document I've ever had the pleasure of seeing. Pepsi redesigned their logo in 2009, right? Let's go through it. First, we have just reasons for them changing it and whatever. Going through the basic geometry of how a logo works, how like packaging works, all that, you know, not too weird. Then we get to golden ratio and it starts getting a little pretentious, but like, you know, s still it's fine. That is, until we get to the Pepsi energy fields. And the Pepsi globe dynamics. The magnetic dynamics of Pepsi. What kind of smiles each Pepsi logo represents. Oh my god, here's the best part. The gravitational pull of Pepsi. Pepsi aisle 60 degrees. Pepsi aisle 30 degrees. Pepsi aisle 10 degrees. Universe expansion. Pepsi planet. Pepsi galaxy. Pepsi universe. What the hell do you want? We're calling today to ensure you're getting the best value and service. BT have got an offer to you. fucking phone call up your pissing ass and get me off this. This is an ex-directly phone and now includes fucking British Telecom. Okay. We pay the fucking bills now. Get the fuck off my phone line. Do you understand? I understand, sir. Good. Right. Well, make sure it's fucking written down right. and it's don't like... ring me again. Okay. Otherwise, I'll come and free your scrawny okay. fucking neck and I'm in. Physically, no problem. Do you copy it? Yeah, uh, uh, all it takes is a couple of seconds. I'll cause you to go and fuck off. No problem. Do you copy Yeah, no problems. Thank you. Good. Don't ever ring again. Right. Thank you for your time, then, sir. Thank you for using me. Speaking of getting older, I found this chart, and at first it was depressing, and then I found the humor in it. This is, uh, I, this was in, uh, I believe it was USA Today. They were talking about retirement age for men and how it's been going up and up and up. So in 2008, retirement age was 64 for men. But because of health care costs and Social Security being delayed, people have had to delay their retirements. By 2012, it was 60. This is a real chart, by the way. There's nothing funny about this. <laughs> to me, I was crying looking at this thing. Like, then in 2016, it was 72, and if you extrapolate out to 2022, it's going to be 78 by 2022. Then I found this exact, I swear this is a true chart. I'm going to overlay it right on the top. This is the life expectancy for men. Notice anything right there? That is not a good thing right there. 
by 2022, you're going to die and have to work three more years. It's like, dig up Don. Come on, he's got three more years to work. Let's go. Zombie workforce by 2022. Everybody sins. And with our busy lives, people don't have time to pay for evil deeds the old-fashioned way. That's why God has immaculately inseminated our phones with a new app called Sinmo. It works just like old Roman Catholic indulgences, which allowed you to donate money to reduce punishment for your wrongdoings. Sinmo makes avoiding eternal punishment so much easier. I know that cheating on my husband has a price. That's a price I already paid for. Wait, you're married? From garden variety offenses like lying to your parents to more advanced infractions like organizing and genocide, Sinmo has a complete catalog listing the price of every sin. Whether you just murdered your uncle or sodomized a goat, you've never been closer to the kingdom of heaven.